we have a problem with young white men in this country who have the access to these deadly weapons. A suspected shooter, a 21-year-old white male from Allen, Texas. The gunman targeted El Paso because it is a border town that prides itself on its bicultural population. It's still unclear why he made that trip, right? I don't blame President Trump for, for El Paso. To say that Donald Trump inspired that guy is just a lie. Why are you linking Lord, that rhetoric Lord, to violence? I am saying When there is this... no linkage. They know it's a sensitive situation in this country right now. They're trying to determine exactly the names. It's a Middle Eastern name and the other one is also, quote, a weird name. More and more likely, this could be a possible terror attack. A devoutly religious Muslim, so that now raises once again the possibility a that this was it again. a terror attack. Within minutes, I mean minutes, there are people that race to politicize, exploit, acts of violence to score cheap, intellectually dishonest political points. People just died, and already they're blaming, blaming, blaming. Hundreds of millions of people, literally a year across the world, listen to political speech. They don't become savage maniacs and shoot up a Walmart. There's a huge problem in the Muslim world. That they and hate us, they want to kill us. How do you fix that infection? I mean, because it seems to me that you'd have to fix it from within Islam. These are religious extremists motivated by a belief in their God to kill us and sometimes themselves. White supremacy, that's the problem. This is a hoax. It's actually not a real problem in America. We're We're terror 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 attacks attacks since 9-11. I'm so sick of this elephant in the room. It's called Muslims. It's called Islam. It's called the Quran. We don't put the name or the face of nope. these shooters on the screen. They don't deserve the publicity they seek. Well, here they are. These are the faces of evil. What they want to see is the face of the woman who killed 14 of our fellow citizens. He thought he was avenging the Hispanic invasion of Texas. He had a racist-filled manifesto. It's right. the shooter's fault. It is not the president's fault. There is no pressure on moderate Muslims to take action against this poison. You want to find the bad eggs. You don't want to punish the whole carton. Trump called for surveillance on mosques, then the establishment of a national database for Muslims in the U.S. But Donald Trump insists it's for the safety of our country and not because he's a bigot or a racist. He, in that manifesto, actually quotes the president. He quotes right-wing figures that use this language who've talked about an invasion of Mexicans. Yes, he hated migrants. He was a segregationist, racial purist. There was signs years before that he had some of this white supremacist thinking. It's just as bad as terrorism, I agree, but there's no ISIS. We need to close the borders. Our immigration laws, our visa laws, do we need to now go back and reevaluate? We need less Muslim immigration and less legal immigration generally. Are they uniting the nation? You know, when Pete, when Elizabeth Warren sends out a tweet saying Fox News is a purveyor of hate? If you use the term as an invasion, that's not anti-Hispanic, it's a fact. And let's not forget tens of thousands of illegal immigrants also arrested for smuggling drugs. We have more to talk about, including the state of immigration in this country, the threats from overseas. This is a powerful ideology. We can't just sort of do what we do, which is just say, oh, well, they're all crazy. 